let's move on to Sweden now. Now, Sweden is an interesting case, okay, because on one hand, they changed the reporting method during the summer, so they only track in cases and deaths four days a week, right? Four days a week. But, but, which, which means that, 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 that their Tuesday numbers can, are Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday numbers, which produces a big artificial spike. But to fight, but to fight this questionable accounting method, the deaths daily, weekly, monthly they are, are, are very low. The weekly, monthly deaths are just, are, just, are just pretty much crazy low, okay? The case, the data cases and deaths are pretty are, are really low also, despite the fact, uh, uh, despite your best efforts. Okay. Let's just take a look over here then. Okay, so let's take a look at Sweden's COVID-19 vaccination numbers. So you can see over here, Sweden has administered a total of uh, 1.4 million, uh, 1.4 million uh, vaccinations have been have been given so far. And so far, uh, 7.3 Two million people have received a single have received a single treatment, and uh, and uh, and 6.8 million have have been fully vaccinated. And what this gives them this gives them a, a one a first shot vaccination rate of 71.1 percent. And Okay. So anyway, and, and about 67.3 million have been fully vaccinated, okay? So now let's just take a look at the daily numbers. Yeah. I'll mention this is the second to last report for this evening. All we got left to do with this is, is the U.S. So what you can see here is uh, so what you can see here, Sweden, is that you're, uh, you you have you have more cases in 2021 than 2020. But again, this this number by itself can be misleading. We don't know the vaccination rate of these people here, and we don't know uh, what the distribution over time the cases are. The good news is this, Sweden. There's a very good chance that your 2021 deaths will not catch 2020 deaths. We can still ask the same question: What's the distribution of these deaths over time, and what's the what's the vaccination rate among those folks? Now, here's where I was talking about the the Tuesday numbers. All these spikes up here are the total for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So, what we're concerned with is not these number actual daily numbers. We're concerned with this blue line here. Okay, so somewhere back in uh, oh, I don't know. Somewhere around April, late April, early May, your COVID-19 cases begin to fall. Okay. Then in July, they climb back up some. Now that now that then they fell down a few more weeks, and now it looks like they're maybe thinking about increasing again. It's hard too soon to tell. What we can see here over here is this. For the 14-day period ending October 23rd, you were averaging 584 cases per day. Now deaths are a little trickier because apparently somewhere back in August they missed the the undercounted some deaths. So somewhere over in here they added those deaths on. So this the, part of this little spike, this little climb here, could be resolved from those adjustments from adding those August deaths back in. But nonetheless, you can see there was a few weeks of an increase. Then the numbers began to fall back down again a little bit. Okay. Take a look here at the 14-day average. 
accuracy, you're averaging 6.01 deaths per day. That's a pretty doggone good number. Weekly cases, take a look at monthly monthly cases. You know, the, the fact is, you know, this is 25, 20, you know, about 25,000 deaths per month. Still well below these numbers back over here. And October cases can be below these two numbers also. What about uh, COVID-19 deaths? Well, look at this. Three, four, five, six, seven months in a row, you had a decrease in COVID-19 deaths. Then you had a couple of little minor speed bumps here on August, September, okay? So anyway, Sweden, that does conclude your report for today. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button, the like button. I really appreciate uh, – did I, did I tell you how many – I don't think I told you how many cases. Oh, I'm sorry. A big shout out to the 22 people from Sweden who watched this video yesterday. It was seven young folks, 15 older folks. Thank you so much. But really be great to get 22 likes to go along with 22 views, okay? That's, that's really something we need to work. We need to work on getting our likes up. If the video is helpful and informative, give me, I'd, I'd appreciate a like also, okay? That's 22 folks watched the video yesterday. Okay. So this pretty is, we got, we got one more country to go, and that's the U.S. So this takes care of your report for today, Sweden. We'll see you tomorrow with a new and updated report.